All right, guys. So uh, Lane and I are going going on a little scouting mission today. Uh, he's running the camera right now. I just picked him up, but uh, he doesn't know it yet. But I've, I've brought something that uh, <laughs> it's not what you typically take on a whitetail scouting mission. We're not really. I mean, we're going. We're looking for deer, but that's not my main objective. My main objective is to kill a coyote. Pups are, you know. Four, four, you know, three or four months old right now, maybe a little older, and uh, they're going to be dumb. So I ain't never coyote hunted in the summer, but we're going to try to this evening. We're going in on some public land on foot. We're just going to walk and call, walk and call, and maybe see a few big deer too that we can uh, we can come back to this fall. So yeah, hopefully we get on some. this set out right here we finally found a spot it's kind of clear and it ain't going to be a very long shot at all but we can see right here the grass is so grown up in so many of these places that we couldn't be, we couldn't see anything so we're going to uh, get this call out right here and then go back there and get set up the wind is coming this way so as long as they come from you know this direction right here we should be fine but if they come from behind us they're gonna smell us Alright guys, we're just going to start off with a, a couple howls maybe and then go just straight into a pup distress. Summertime coyote hunting here. I ain't never done it. Lane ain't never done it. We're just out of here trying to kill some time before deer season. <laughs> thing in it is still I'm just kind of chilling waiting a little bit before we get out to where I want to call as you can see the sun, the sun is still high in the sky we got a few hours before that happens but we're just gonna take our time and work our way out here this spot was just kind of close you can't see that much and I'm not real crazy about it but I'm like I said I'm just trying to kill some time before we get out to where I really want to call We'll just slowly work our way out there. It was in season, but it's not. I could have drilled it. Well, I could have shot at it. <laughs> but he, uh, he was just, you know, coming down that road. I got out of here. I was like, click, 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 and got to. Uh, I literally, I went to Bobcat. There's one, and I have one Bobcat noise. It's Bobcat in heat. <laughs> I hear him playing it, and it just froze up. And then I was like, you know, that ain't, he ain't gonna go check that out. I went, I quit back here and went to a rabbit distress and just turned it down real, real low. And he went up, and that's when he started crawling up 
right, that was cool. <laughs> All right, guys, we're on the move. I'm gonna head out to the next spot right after we, we called there. We actually had a doe pop out, so it don't spook the deer too bad. That's a buck, too. They're all bucks. This one? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a big buck. And guys, we're watching some big bucks right now. Two of them are, you know, they look good like good deer. I can't tell much about them, but I can see a nice rack. That's awesome. We're coming up on the last spot that we're gonna call for this evening. I had a plan on calling a few more, but it was so dang hot. I just wanna save these spots, so. We waited back here and it's prime time right now. The only way I won't call this spot is if I see a big buck, which could happen. Guys, we just popped up over the hill here and Lane spotted this bear right under us. He was just thrashing on that autumn olive. Hey bear. <laughs> he was looking at you a little too uh, yeah, tastefully. He didn't spook. He, I mean, you were standing in the water. Staring, staring, staring at you. I thought I was like, uh, yeah. I knew he could see you. He couldn't see me on his berm yet. I was like, you know, I, I need Lane to film quite a bit this fall. I don't want him to die yet. <laughs> well, guys, that'll that'll do it for today. Uh, I ain't gonna call this spot. I ain't really worried about a uh, coyote, to be honest. I mean, that was just something extra to do, I guess. But uh, we've seen. There's a deer. It's a bug. We, like Lane just saw a bug. <laughs> like I was saying. Lane, uh, I thought the bear was gonna get you, man. <laughs> that was that was really cool. We are, I mean, we've experienced some cool stuff today. We saw a big buck, big three, bear. you know, three bucks right there. A bobcat come up and touch the coyote call. Uh, those, you know, we saw some doe, and we just had that bear about 15 yards away. I thought it was gonna eat Lane. But yeah, guys. Anyways, what I was getting to there, uh, we're gonna go. Um, run bears in the morning with our buddy Jimmy Good. So uh, this is going to be a long episode. It's going to be a uh, white tail scouting, bobcat viewing, you know, uh, black bear encounters with no dogs. I'd have been so, so excited if we had dogs, but, or had a bow, but we didn't have either. So yeah, we're going to get up in the morning and uh, go hunt with our buddy Jimmy Good. So, until then.
Come here, Spike. Come on. Go. Come on. Say um, he's he's going out of there with it. Hey PJ, you better book it out through there. Is that you going out toward the... You got all yours in there together? Yeah. yeah. So, well, this is right there with the tail plug. Oh, mine seem to be all packed up right now. Yeah, stay right there PJ. They're left-handed from you right there. Yeah, I just picked them up. Okay, I'm, I'm coming your way. Huh? They're showing treats. Good deal. They're showing treats, guys. They might have it on the ground. I'm not for sure, but we're about to go in here and find out. Get a little closer, we can hear him a little better. Oh, <laughs> 
Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on.